All right, hi everybody. My name is Madeline Golick and I'm the pelvic health physiotherapist here at Eco Physiotherapy. And today I'm going to be demonstrating a technique that I use um, to mobilize the fascia around the ureters. So you're probably like, what is that? So let's do a little anatomy of, uh, review so you sort of know what I'm talking about and then you'll sort of understand why I might be using this technique in the first place. Okay, so I'm just bringing out my anatomy book here a little bit. So I want to show you these two little beans that you see right here, those are our kidneys, okay? And our kidneys um, produce urine, or they produce waste, and the urine travels from the kidney down the ureter. So that's this white tube on either side, right here and here, okay? And of course, the liquid empties into our bladder, which is a muscle, and it's located here at the, at the bottom. So when I'm treating somebody with some bladder issues, Sometimes when they say that they have a history of um, kidney stones or recurring kidney stones, that can create trauma to the soft tissue around the ureter. And that can then result in some scar tissue formation and some adhesion. So adhesion just means sticking, okay? So sometimes the scar tissue can stick between the ureter itself. And right here is our hip flexor muscle, also known as the psoas muscle. So this muscle helps uh, lift our leg into a flexed position. So if we're moving and there's an adhesion between these two, sometimes you can get sharp pains or nondescript pains that you're not really sure why you're getting with movement. Um, the ureter can also um, be stuck to the interior or, or the inside of the abdominal wall. So this is important when we're talking about the urinary system in the sense that the bladder muscle, when it's filling, is actually expanding upwards. It needs to be able to move up. And then of course, when we're urinating, that muscle contracts and moves down. So if there's an adhesion either between the hip flexor or the abdominal wall, that may restrict the motion of the actual bladder muscle. So somebody who might be having issues with bladder retention, so not being able to empty out fully, or somebody who's peeing uh, frequently because you know, they're always just uh, feeling like they need to go, so that may lead me to think about the soft tissue along the ureter, especially if they've had a history of kidney stones. So I'm gonna demonstrate what that technique kind of looks like. All right, so I just want to be sort of clear that we're mobilizing the soft tissue, the connective tissue around these structures, not the actual structure itself. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing my upper hand kind of in and around um, where the uh, fascia is located kind of around the kidney. And then my lower hand is going to be applied at the top of the bladder, right? Because remember, the ureters go from up to down, okay? And so once I kind of have a feeling between my two hands, I'm going to actually move the abdomen back and forth. And what I'm looking for is what is the quality of movement, okay? And if I find a spot of tension, I'm going to hold that tension there, and then I'm going to sort of move up and down. And again, I'm checking for that quality of movement. And then once I find that point of tension, I hold it, and then I check in a rotation. Now, you might not be able to see my hands moving very much, but the person I'm working on will tell you that they can feel uh, changes in pressure and, and can actually feel that movement. So now that I've found that point of tension along the soft tissue, I'm going to ask um, the patient to basically flex their hip and then relax. So flex and relax, flex and relax, but they're going to do that by just activating the muscle, not actually moving. So I'm going to ask um, my client to actually start movement now. So she's going to kind of flex and you can see very subtly that she's flexing and relaxing. And she's gonna keep going until I feel that the tissue underneath my hands has changed. Sometimes it feels like melting butter or um, I just feel a, a different quality to the tissue and I know that it's released. And once I feel that that release has happened, um, then I will ask her to uh, stop moving the leg, we'll release and then we'll retest those movements along those planes to see if we've addressed the tension in that tissue. Anyway, so if you're having some bladder issues um, and you have a history of uh, kidney stones, this might be something that we can investigate and treat 
um, to help you with your bladder symptoms. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Take care.